now that I still have the trusty Tenere 700 in my yard here, it's been sold already, but it's still waiting for the pickup. Let me go through the modifications I did to this bike 20,000 kilometers ago. And do I think they were useful, useful or were they completely useless? If you have the Tenere 700, maybe you get some valuable information on this video. As you can see, I don't have the OEM center stand on the bike anymore because I felt it wasn't really nice when you do off-roading. Your leg is very easily caught up in the bar that comes up that you pull, push down with your feet when you put it on the center stand. So the OEM center stand is definitely something I wouldn't buy again. If you want to have a center stand, I would look into SW Moltec center stand. I think it from the pictures that I've seen, it doesn't have that same problem. At least it's not as bad in the SW Moltec center stand. So definitely look into some third party center stand if you are looking into the Tenere 700 and do you want actually have want to have the center stand. And because it adds weight, I would even think maybe you don't even need it. The headlight protector is definitely useful, especially if you ride in groups, you should definitely have this item. And if you buy some mesh here, it's not going to protect as much. So I would definitely go with the Yamaha OEM headlight protector. These protective rubbers for the plastic parts between your legs when you ride the bike are definitely a highly recommended item for the Tenere 700. You feel better grip with your knees when you turn the bike over and at the same time you're going to protect these plastics and especially this upper part to not scratch this uh, painted plastic section here so definitely highly recommend to put in these Yamaha rubbers right from the start of owning this bike. Excellent and I have no problems removing the back tire with this installed so I have no gripes with this and it's been there from the start. The Acer Biscards for the frame are highly recommended. They're not too expensive and they're gonna protect the frame paint very well. I have actually the, a special video about this in my channel already. I can link it below. Can't go wrong with Bark Busters, but the Storm plastics are definitely ugly. I don't like the look of them. So if you need the protection, from wind and rain, they are good, but they're not the best looking, that's for sure. I already took the quad lock off from the Tenere and I moved it to the Torek, but definitely the best phone mounting system in the market today. It's expensive, but I really like it. Anyone who rides with luggage should definitely at least change the rear spring. I have the rally rate 85 newton meter spring in the rear and it's working perfectly fine. I have the SW Moltec tank pack system installed and I have the Pro Day Pack in here usually but I don't have it installed currently but the best tank pack system I've ever used so highly recommend this for the Tenere 700. I installed it when the bike was new and I haven't had to touch it. It's been still there and it's robust and it's not moving anywhere. I think the heavy duties Enduro crash bars are the best crash bars for the Tenere 700. They even protect the plastics pretty well because they protrude a little bit on the side of the bike. But they only add 4 kilos in the total weight, so 2 plus 2 kilos and the all the weight is down low here where it protects the engine covers or the plastics above and they've been working great. I have some nicks and marks, actually not on this side but on the other side here I have some marks on these crash bars. I can show it to you now. So if you fall down you will definitely scratch at least this part here but all the other parts on these crash bars are still looking nice and uh, highly recommend those. The heat engine guard I think looks good and it has done the job for the last 20,000 kilometers so I have no problems with that. Really nice upgrade. 
If you have a problem with the stock bar of the Tenere 700, definitely look into the uh, Pro Taper Adventure Evo bar as well. It has a lot more sweep than the stock bar and it's a little bit taller than the stock bar, so you don't need risers if you feel like you need them with the stock setup. I have the Koso heated grips and these are still working fine, so I have no issues with them, but Oxford grips are definitely warmer. I've tested it. No problems with this extension, it's still working fine and it protects some of the some of the mud and dust and rocks are not gonna go as high into the engine bay and the headers here, so definitely worth an upgrade if you feel like you need this 10 buck part. The bike is a little dirty, but even though I have had the Kriga OS soft luggage on this bike. Plastic parts of the back are still looking like new because I have the PPF protection on the plastics here. So definitely highly recommend if you use soft luggage with this bike because these black plastics are gonna look horrible if they get scratched up. The PPF that I have here mean that all the surfaces here are almost like new. And even though expensive, the HP Corsa pipe, the high pipe installed on this bike is definitely must have for anyone who does off-roading with this bike. It's protected inside all this equipment here, so it's not gonna hit the ground when you fall with the bike. Definitely worth the upgrade, even though it's very expensive. I have the Yamaha USB plug here and uh, even though it's pretty nice, it does gather some moisture when you ride and maybe accumulate moisture inside sometimes a little bit and it does rust and probably not gonna live a long time. So you have to change this uh, sometimes probably if, if you use the Yamaha stock one, but it's, it's been working fine. I have the Yamaha 18 mm link here in the back, so the bike is a couple centimeters lower than stock. And uh, it's a simple upgrade. If you feel like the Tenere is too, too tall, you can change this link here. And remember to lower the front end a little bit as well, so you don't get a crazy change in the geometry. But the stock side stand still works. The lowering of 18 millimeter doesn't mean you have to change the side stand or anything. I think it works perfectly like this. The tail tidy that came from HP Corsa. I have a video about this and the pipe on my channel, so check it out. I will put it in the description. The tail tidy itself has been really good and it cleans up the rear end of the Tenere 700. I think, I think it's, this right now looks awesome. But the blinker situation here, I wouldn't put, put the blinkers here because this is gonna vibrate so violently when you ride. It's gonna break any almost any kind of blinker here. So I've already gone through a couple of blinkers and even these are attached with uh, zip ties and tape. So I would put the blinkers up here on the frame plastic. So screw a hole here and uh, install the blinkers in, in this position. You can even use the stock blinkers and it's gonna work fine. So tail tidy, really nice upgrade. The blinker situation here, not so nice, but you can move these up here if you want. ABS sensor protection here in the back, really cheap little part. Looks like it does nothing for me, but if you get a hit here, it might save your ABS sensor here. So I would think this is worth it. So I think that's it for the mods on this Tenere 700. Are you gonna change the same things I am? Probably not, but maybe you get some ideas from this video. So see you on the next ones.